Hey guys, Dzinis Kozor here. In this video I want to show how to stop lighting for this scene. From the last video I have added this decor for the bathroom and this ceiling model. It's just a simple plane. Ok, so when we speak about lighting, first of all we need to understand what kind of purpose or aim or some kind of task does light should complete. It must to create some volume, some light and shadows patterns that will create objects look more three-dimensional, more interesting. And here I want to show the main thing that I think you should understand in this lighting tutorial. When we create light, for example, it can be a rectangle, I placed it here, and there is a concept of flat lighting that you should avoid for creating volume in the scene or some kind of interesting pattern. So if I will override my materials to the gray color, simple corona material, here in the settings MTL override, just add this material as an instance and from here we can start interactive render and I also will lock this render frame so it doesn't change through my navigation on the scene. So here I will change the intensity and here when we have light on the straight line with the camera we get this flat kind of light where we doesn't have any volume, any nice looking shadows, difference between light and shadow. If I will slightly change the position of this light and move it, for example, here, from now you can see how we get this shadow and light on the different sides and the scene appears much more 3D dimensional. Here we can also move it to the other side and we also get this difference between light and shadow. And this is the main feature of light, this is the main goal that we should pursue in the lighting setup. Here in this scene we can go and try to recreate this lighting setup or we can create something by ourselves. I will create something in the middle of it what I mean, we will try to copy, for example, this shadow and now when we place this light here, we already get this kind of shadow and from here we can change the position of this light, for example, like this and I will change the size to 80 centimeters. We can also change the units for light to candle and uh, here we can move it slightly like this. When we change the size we create a different pattern of shadows. If we will make it smaller one by one for example we will get sharp shadows. When we create it bigger it appears more softer in shadows. Now we need to change the position of this light. So these shadows goes before the lamp. I will move it slightly like this. And from here I will move it up. Ok, so now we have this diagonal shadow pattern. And from here we can also rotate it by local axis. I change it with Alt and right click. Slightly down like this. Ok, maybe it's not 100% like on the reference, but we get the main idea. Ok, and here I doesn't want this light to be very bright. I can make this even bigger and from now let's create these lamps. To do so we need to add new material. I will create new corona material. Then we need to assign it on the lamps. And you always need to save your scene. Ok, so here we will assign new material to the lamps, both three of them. Change diffuse to zero, reflection to one, refraction also to one. Here with the glossy will be zero five and refraction glossy will be zero two. We get this frosty glass. Next we need to add these objects to exclusion. Just hit the plus button here with the selection and then we will create new corona lights. 
let's create them from here with the shape disk like this okay it will be three centimeters and rotated by 90 degree so it will be placed like this okay then we will copy it as an instance two times like this okay nice then from here we can start interactive render and change the intensity of this light and here i prefer to use corona light list so i can disable this rectangle light let's call it rectangle okay and uh, here are the will be um, just keep them like this now we can change the intensity to maybe 20,000 and let's see what we get here first of all i need to move them on the right position from the top view here is too much let's try 10,000 also too much let's try 5,000 still too much maybe 2500 mm, for my personal taste it's also too much let's try 500 and here it's much more better we get this interesting shadow from the mirror now we can also enable the rectangle light and we get this soft kind of lighting that we have here with this shadow and this shadow on the wall and now we need to add hdri map to add overall color and some soft light for this purpose i will use hdris from hdri heaven and here we have indoor lighting because i have only a corner of the interior not the um, whole room i will use this kind of hdris if i will work with the complete interiors and i will use skies or outdoor hdris from here i will use something like this hdri so i will use it only in 1k because i need only light from it i will also create new tab call it light to do so you just create new call it light and from here we will create corona bitmap then from here you need to select the hdri map that you downloaded open it just press ok then we add corona color correct connect them and next how you can faster try in different maps you create output map here then you connect it to the corona settings here in the single map let's connect it here like that as an instance then connect this hdri map and from here i will disable all the lights and keep only hdri map so here i can rotate this map with this environment just drag your mouse up hold and drag it up and now we can see how the light changes is your map rotating by like a sphere it's rotating and changing the light position so we can get more interesting results with light and shadow as i mentioned in the beginning you need to have proper amount of shadow and light to keep the scene interesting now we get it we have the shadow here and the light here and we can then add these artificial lights so they don't affect too much on this light and shadow pattern but they add some interesting point of view now we have this shadow light and smooth we get this shadow and we also have definition between these two walls we have also light and shadow on this sink and uh, let's let me show how you can faster check your hdri maps just drag and drop with shift this map and then we can load here another map select the one that you like for example it can be this hdri map okay from here you will just connect it here change the environment position and begin to rotate it i will also disable these artificial lights and from here we're looking for nice interesting lighting 
or maybe colors and see what we get. This is also some kind of interesting example, but I think I will go with the first so we can continue searching for the nice interesting light setup. But I hope you get the main idea and you can continue by your own. For example, when I work on this project, I tested about 10 HDRI maps and just rotating them like this and looking for interesting colors, light and shadow patterns. You need to just understand what you want to get in the end or some kind of main idea and from there you just looking for it. Try to not stop on the first interesting idea, try to make some changes and search for the best one. It always about finding the best that you can to create more astonishing results. And from here I understand that this HDRI map doesn't feel for me very nice in this kind of scene. So for example I will not use it. But I hope you get the main idea how we can deal with them. Then you can adjust here your exposure for HDRI map and make it darker or lighter. For me I think it all works with the default settings. Pretty nice. And uh, this is it for the lighting. If you have any question, please ask me and see you in the next video where we will discuss how to stop the materials. Also, if you want to dive more deeply in the process of creating interiors, I will start the course about interior visualization on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Hope you like it, please subscribe to my channel and write some comments, it all motivates me for creating new videos. See you next time, bye!